I am leaving Yamaha drums! Now, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Is he crazy? Maybe. Is he drunk? Of course. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I know exactly the guy that can give us some perspective. Let's go with it. Oh, hi. How are you doing? In order to understand everything that we have just witnessed, the first thing that we gotta do is just separate the guy that plays drums from the real guy, okay? Hi everyone, my name is Jorge and I am the person that's behind all of my content. This is my home. It definitely doesn't look like my studio, right? Well, that's obvious, that's just because I don't spend all my life drinking, smoking weed and hitting the drums like a motherfucker. I am a regular guy, just like you. I shave my balls, I fuck my wife, I walk my dog, and I do a lot of ordinary things. And the latest thing that happened to me is that I realized that there are two different kinds of musicians in this world. The first kind of musicians is the classic musicians. The classic musicians spend most of the time doing a lot of work that's related to the way that music has been done until today. And I mean that they spend all of their time touring, or maybe they are doing the studio work recording for a lot of different bands, or maybe they have a music school and they are teaching to their students. They are pretty good at what they do, and their work is totally necessary for the music industry to continue the way it has until today. Unfortunately, lately I have realized that there is also another kind of musician. With all the revolution of social media, we have witnessed the birth of a new kind of musician. Somebody that doesn't spend most of his time touring or recording or teaching. He spends most of his time creating content. And that's the kind of musician that I have turned out to be. It's not wrong. In fact, if you ask me, this is the life that I like. And that's exactly why I am doing all of this. I have had a lot of offers. I could be touring, I could be recording, but the real thing is that whenever I wake up in the morning, the first thought that I have is how can I record something interesting for all of you to watch? That's it. All that I do, I do it for you. And I gotta tell you, it's not an easy path. I do not get paid for most of the covers and videos that I record. Not on YouTube, not on Instagram, and definitely not on TikTok. But I gotta say that my videos reach a really fucking huge audience. And that means that a lot of people really do enjoy my content. And the best thing is that it's absolutely for free. So there are no barriers here. It doesn't matter if you are rich. It doesn't matter if you are poor. It doesn't matter if you are from Peru or if you are from New York. You can all watch everything that I do at any time, anywhere. And that makes me really, really fucking happy because this is probably one of the last things that we can share for free. And that's what I do with my time. I just record things that I think that you can find interesting or maybe even funny. And if you are watching this video, let me please tell you that I fucking appreciate it and that you are the reason why I am here today. So this is all pretty beautiful, isn't it? What's the problem? What's really happening here? Well, the thing that's happening in here is that, as I told you, there are two different kinds of musicians right now in the world. And because of the choices that I'm currently making, I am not and I don't want to be the first one. I want to be a hundred percent prepared to give you the content that you deserve. And exactly because of that, my needs are not the needs of the first kind of musician. So I have been working with a really huge company like Yamaha and I have no beef with them. They have given me everything that I have asked for. They have given me some of the best experience that I could ever have. I have recorded advertisings for them. I have recorded videos for them. I have been using all of their stuff. And by the way, it's awesome. And they could not have treated me better. And for that, I am eternally grateful. But again, as I told you, as the views keep going up, I really feel like I need another kind of support, okay? And that's obviously not their fault. They are a huge company and they can offer really strong support in certain areas, but I really feel like there are a lot of different things that they can obviously not cover. In the last months, I have created a really strong work group and I am working with friends all day long. Whenever I go to the studio, I go with Facundo and he's my friend and I can bother him anytime and he's going to be there to help me whenever I need help with cameras whenever I need help with merchandising I always have one friend that's there to support me 
personally anytime. And man, that's a glorious feeling. Finally, being able to work with friends and being able to give a job to some of my friends has been the most rewarding feeling that I've ever experienced in my whole life. And in order to continue doing what I do, I really feel like I need to get that exact same feeling from the drum company that I belong to. And it's really hard to have close friends whenever you are working with a gigantic company like Yamaha. Because let's be honest for a moment here, I am working for some people that I will never see in my whole life. This job takes 20 hours each and every single day and if I don't have my closest friends and people that I really love working with, that I know that have the same vision that I have, that I know they have the same goal that I have, then this just turns into something impossible. So I finally decided to take a different path. I'm going to do something that I have never ever in my whole life seen anybody do in the music industry most of you are going to think that this is a bold move and to be honest I don't even know the answer myself. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but for the first time in a really long time I see light at the end of the tunnel again and I have a lot of hope on everything that's coming. So I cannot give you any more details right now because to be honest I don't have them. I'm working on everything and there's still a lot of work to be done. So I can just let you speculate with everything in the comments and I think that seven days from now we have a date because hopefully by next Sunday I will reveal the truth about all that I'm planning and man it feels great. So as I told you I've got no beef with Yamaha, there's not a single thing that I could have asked for that they didn't give me, they treated me with respect and with love and for all of that let's make a toast to everything that we have ever accomplished together. Thank you for everything you've done guys. I really appreciate it and I really wish you well from the bottom of my heart. Cheers! Yeah, Mexicanos, you putas. And now I think that the real purpose that I am making this video is that El Estepario has something to say. Ah. <coughs> I'm going to regret this, obviously. No, I'm not. It's a good choice. Fuck off. It's cold in here. Shit, man, I'm freezing. You know what, maybe... We should practice right now. Fucking glasses, I look like a nerd. More tequila! Ugh. Ugh. We with a pipe, that's classy, man. You know what, forget all that I said, this... <laughs> you know what, forget all that I said. The important thing here is that I am leaving Yamaha drums!